what is going on? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, fun one today, got a new camera. Gonna go test out the photo and video capabilities of it. Uh, gonna go shoot motos because, well, it's fun and it's actually a really good way to test out this camera's photo and video capabilities. Uh, the camera I will be testing out is the brand new, well not really brand new, but the Sony a7 IV. Um, I obviously own the Sony a7 III and that camera pretty much changed my life altogether. So when the, uh, when the Sony a7 IV came out, I was always had an eye on it and I, uh, I pulled the trigger on it a couple weeks ago uh, and I've got some time to go actually test out on um, yeah, on something that I enjoy really shooting and it'll be a good way for me to sort of push the camera to the limits. Uh, I don't necessarily think this camera is going to be say like my A video camera. Uh, the Sony FX3 will be my A video body for, I don't know, quite a while until I potentially maybe get myself an FX6. Uh, but the A7 IV will definitely become my main uh, stills body uh, so yeah we'll go take some photos um, I'll still shoot it with video because it does still shoot ridiculously good video um, and yeah we'll uh, I'll try to do my best to get some behind the scenes of me using the camera for you guys all to see uh, and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy this one <laughs> No capabilities. No. <laughs> I just wrap up this video about the Sony A7 IV and as you can see this camera really just can sort of do it all um, its video capabilities are just ridiculously good um, all those clips were shot at 4k on the crop sensor at 60 frames uh, and I was just using the focus setting of large flexible spot having it in the center and the tracking is pretty amazing these cameras continue to amaze me. Uh, I'm still obviously a massive believer that you need to know how to manually focus a lens, but with a native Sony lens on, an, on a Sony body, uh, the autofocus is sort of out of this world and makes my job so much easier. So having something like this in my, uh, my arsenal is just simply a no-brainer. And obviously with the bump up in uh, photo specs as well, having the new autofocus tracking capabilities and now shooting on a 33 megapixel center, sensor, I believe. It just made sense for me um, as a hybrid creator, someone who does photo and video work uh, to upgrade from the old a7 III to the a7 IV. And to be honest with you, they both work together so well. Um, so if you are someone who does have the a7 III and you are looking to upgrade, I really do think the a7 IV is a solid option. Um, it also will give you the ability to have two bodies that can both shoot 4K video and have two bodies that are, are pretty, are still 
pretty good for, for its value for taking photos. So this isn't meant to be like a full blown review video, purely just me going out and testing it. And yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's great. I, I guess it's great. That's why I bought it. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't great. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, if you did, be sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, if not, have a great day. Go get outside, go create and capture. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.